Did you know that the London Bridge you see today isn't the original one? Quite the intriguing fact, isn't it? The iconic London Bridge has a history as rich and layered as the city itself. Its origins trace back to the Romans, who first constructed a bridge over the River Thames around AD 50. This was no grand architecture but a simple wooden structure designed for basic utility. Fast forward to the era of the Anglo-Saxons, and we find a new version of the bridge, still made of wood, but now with a design that mirrored the growing sophistication of the period. By the 12th century, a more permanent structure was in place, a bridge made of stone. It stood as a testament to the architectural prowess of the time, a symbol of the city's growth and prosperity. So, it's clear that the London Bridge has a rich and complex history, but what happened to the original versions? If you thought the London Bridge had only one life, think again. Our bridge of interest, the London Bridge, is no amateur when it comes to reincarnations. Its history is a riveting tale of resilience, enduring the test of time, and repeatedly rising from the ashes, quite literally at times. Let's rewind the clock a bit. The original London Bridge, built by the Romans around the first century, was a wooden structure, but wood, as we know, is quite the tinderbox, and the bridge fell victim to several fires over the centuries. Then came the Stone Bridge in the 12th century, a marvel of medieval engineering. Twenty arches spanned the Thames, adorned with buildings that reached up to seven stories high. But even this sturdy structure wasn't immune to disaster, the Great Fire of London in 1666 damaged it significantly. Despite repairs, the bridge struggled under the weight of its own buildings. Fast forward to the 19th century, a new granite bridge replaced the medieval one, a testament to the Victorian era's grandeur. But the Thames, with its notorious tides, proved to be a formidable adversary, causing severe erosion to the bridge's foundations. World War II, too, left its mark. The bridge survived, but bore the scars of the Blitz, a stark reminder of the city's tumultuous past. Each version of the bridge had its unique architectural style, reflecting the era it was built in. The Roman bridge was practical and utilitarian, the medieval one was a bustling microcosm of London life, while the Victorian version showcased the era's penchant for grandeur and ornamentation. Materials too evolved over time, from the humble timber of the Roman era to the stone of the Middle Ages and finally to the granite and steel of the Victorian and modern eras. After surviving fires, wars, and even a Viking attack, the bridge still stands, but how did it end up in its current form? The London Bridge of today may not be the original, but it is still a marvel of modern engineering. In the heart of the bustling metropolis that is London, the modern London Bridge stands tall. It's a far cry from the stone arches of its predecessor, but its functional simplicity and sleek design make it a fitting emblem of the contemporary city. The 1970s ushered in a new era for the London Bridge. The old one, having served faithfully for over six centuries, was deemed insufficient for the demands of modern traffic. The decision was made to construct a new bridge. This was no small undertaking. The design had to accommodate heavy traffic, withstand the relentless flow of the Thames, and do so with an elegance befitting one of the world's most iconic cities. The project was awarded to architect Lord Holford and engineer Mott, Hay and Anderson. The resulting structure was a box girder bridge made from pre-stressed concrete and steel. It was built in sections, each one carefully floated into place on the river, a strategy that minimized disruption to the waterway and the city. But it wasn't just about engineering finesse. The design was carefully considered to reflect the aesthetics of modern London. With its clean lines and minimalist design, the bridge is a testament to the functional beauty of contemporary architecture. Today, the bridge is more than just a means of crossing the river. It's a vital artery in London's infrastructure, bearing the weight of thousands of vehicles and pedestrians every day. It's also a symbol of the city's resilience and adaptability, a monument that has evolved as London has grown and changed. And yet, despite its modernity, there's a sense of history that lingers, a reminder of the many bridges that have spanned the Thames at this very spot, bearing witness to the unfolding story of London and that's how the London Bridge we know and love today came to be. But there's one more twist in this tale. What if we told you there's a London Bridge in the United States? It may sound like an urban legend, but it's true. The 19th century London Bridge that once spanned the River Thames now resides in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. This remarkable feat was accomplished by an American entrepreneur, Robert P. McCulloch. 
In the late 60s, McCulloch purchased the bridge, had it disassembled stone by stone, and shipped across the Atlantic. It was then meticulously reassembled in the heart of the Arizona desert. The public's reaction was a blend of disbelief, bemusement, and awe. Many thought it was a clever publicity stunt, while others saw it as a testament to human ingenuity. But regardless of the opinions, the bridge stands today, a piece of London history nestled among cacti and clear blue skies. So, next time you're in Arizona, you can visit a piece of London's history, and that's the fascinating story of London Bridge. So, there you have it, the story of London Bridge. From its mysterious origins to its many lives, its modern incarnation, and its surprising twin in Arizona. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more fascinating stories from history. Thanks for watching.